Hey there, welcome back to Sheet Leveller. I'm Hannah, your Excel teacher, and today we're talking about one of my favourite Excel tools, drop-down menus. Ever spent way too much time entering the same data over and over again? Or maybe you've had to clean up messy, inconsistent entries in a spreadsheet. If that sounds familiar, drop-down menus are about to save you so much time and frustration. By the end of this video, you'll know two easy ways to create drop-down menus. Using a predefined list in your worksheet. Creating a menu without storing visible values. Plus, I'll show you why drop-down menus make your data more accurate and error-free. All right, let's get started. Before we jump in, let's quickly talk about when you should use drop-down menus. They're perfect for repeated data entry like selecting a department, project status, or category. They speed up data entry by letting users pick from a list instead of typing manually. They reduce errors. No more typos, misspellings, or inconsistent entries. Imagine you're collecting employee data and need to record their department. Instead of having people manually type marketing, HR, or finance, which could lead to typos like marketing. You give them a drop-down menu to select the correct department with one click. However, if your data is unique for each entry, like customer names or email addresses, a drop-down menu isn't necessary. All right, now that we know when to use them, let's create one. Let's say we're tracking project statuses and we want to create a drop-down menu with the following options. Not started, in progress and then complete. Instead of typing these statuses over and over again, let's automate it. Select the cell where you want to add the drop-down menu, for example, C2. Click on the Data tab and select Data Validation. In the Data Validation dialog box, change the Allow setting to List. Click the small up arrow next to the Source box. Select the cells where your status options are listed for example, F1 to F3. Click OK. And just like that, you have a drop-down menu. Now, when you click the arrow in the cell, you'll see all the status options ready to go. Bonus tip. Want to add this drop-down to multiple cells? Drag the cell's fill handle down the column to apply the drop-down to multiple rows. Now, what if you want to keep your sheet clean and don't want the list of options cluttering your spreadsheet. No problem. You can create a drop-down menu without storing values in visible cells. Select the cell where you want the drop-down menu. Go to the Data tab and click Data Validation. Choose List under the Allow drop-down. In the Source box, manually type Not Started, In Progress Complete. Directly into the Source box, making sure each option is separated by a comma. Click OK, and you're done. Now you have a drop-down menu without needing extra cells for your list. It's a cleaner approach, perfect for keeping your worksheet neat. You've now mastered drop-down menus in Excel. Try it yourself. Pause the video and create a drop-down menu in your own spreadsheet. Comment below. Which method do you prefer? Let me know. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more awesome Excel tips.